Let's talk not physical, not physical. Let's talk not physical. Let's talk not physical. Let us have some spirit talk. Some spirit talk. Let us have some spirit talk. What do you think do you want to practice on? We can also practice without anything, just trying to close eyes or. I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of gray screen right now, and we can just maybe what we can do is. Um, is just as we're doing it, we can sparsely just call out what we're perceiving. And. Um, you know, without going, so sure, you know, we'll but, it at the, at the same, or we could, or we could do five minutes quietly, and then, and then come back and then discuss what we saw. Oh, another thing that I was thinking, um, as an exercise to practice. What if I, I go and say different letters, and then. You try to visualize the letter, mm -hmm. and we can do it maybe a few minutes with eyes open and a few minutes with eyes closed. Yeah, sure. So, do you want to start open or close? Um, well, I want to load. Well, maybe maybe we can also take a bunch. Of, let's put the when we when we do it open, we can put the gray screen at a certain oh, number. Absolutely, I got it. I got it loaded up. So let me do it myself. The so the benefit of one person calling out is that the other person doesn't know what to expect until they hear it. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Anyway, we we, I mean, with this practice, we had to use our imagination and try several things, because eventually, by trying and trying, we're gonna know what things work better, right? Um. And in my case, I'm not worried that much about my practices because I already can just close my eyes and, and do a practice. But I want to get more variety of information so I know what can work for other people. Um, right now it's you, but hopefully another time we can have more people. <laughs> we can get other people. You know That's what's funny? Sweet. One of the things... That I try to do with a gray screen is I try to imagine a train moving like from left to right with train tra with train cars and what I find is I can't get the train cars to move they're just kind of static <laughs> but meanwhile if I imagine a cube and I rotate the cube I can get the cube to rotate it's really weird well, but anyway, well, one thing is like, well, I already told you, but I'll say it again. If if something doesn't work for you now, don't assume it's going to always be like that. Always. Oh, no, I know. I know. I just, it's it's like anything. I'm just, you have to kind of go with what's working and just keep improving, improve. It, like everything will sort of come into place. I'm I'm 100% confident in that. I wouldn't be spending all this time staring at a screen if I didn't think it was going to lead to something. It just, I just know that, you know, you kind of, it's, you know what it is, is it takes a lot of discipline. And, and I think that's going to cause some people to not want to spend the time because they're just going to be like, oh, I just can't stand staring at the screen. You, you have to, yeah, it depends on how badly you want it. Yeah, I, I forgot the, it was BG, right? Yeah, it's slash TMP T N. So should, should we try the same? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Should we try the same number? If you want, give me a number. Let me say some, something that works for me. <laughs> Later, you can also choose yourself. Let's try 121. Oh, I have it at 120. I can't move it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I got 121. Use my arrow keys. Okay, so I, I'm going to start saying letters. Um, okay. Okay, C. Okay. F. Mm -hmm. J. 
that's a bit, but yeah, you can. Q. P. T. My By the name. way, I I I am I'm a very in, in the frequency because I am going in receiving mode and and I I'm actually telling you what I get. Hmm, interesting. But actually, that, I'm, not, I, I'm doing it in a superpos, superposed layer. It's not. It's, it's kind of like I see the background, but I'm kind of like ignoring the background. Yeah. Anyway, this is something that people have to play with and see what works better than. What, this reminds what, me of an eye test. <laughs> B, B as boy. Okay. Why? S. A. S again. T again. B as boy again. L. M. N. Well, I was following the rest of that idea, but, but it was subconsciously. Um, R, J again, K again. Yeah, it looks, I, I am observing a tendency sometimes to follow the, the sequence of the alphabet. I think uh, for a class, we could try out like, okay, you know, one letter every two seconds or something. And, um, but the other thing is, I also think for a class, having the letters be always random so that you don't get used to a particular sequence. I don't know. We could try well, it where in that case we can do it with a program. Yeah, we can set it so that it throws. Well, it should it should. So random. so that was the thing is when you were making that program, it's like one idea could be it says the letter, but doesn't show it. Another one is it could be OK, the letter pops up for like 200 milliseconds and then disappears. Right, right. And then you see how long you can retain it in your field of view. So, so psychology claims like there's three or four of these retention times um, of how long something will appear in your view. But the goal is for us to keep it going and going and going and going because that's that's yeah. the part that psychology says doesn't exist. Like, anyway, my, my plan is now let's do it the same thing because for me it's also a practice to be in receiver mode with okay. a letter and see what I get. Let's do the same thing, but with eyes closed. Okay. So let me put the. I feel like um, I'm going to cover my eyes, but I feel like there's a certain amount of after image that takes a while to clean up. Well, do whatever. I mean, yeah. anything. Yeah. No, I know. I'm just wondering if it's like one of these things where you have to like wait a minute. I'm seeing an eye. I'm seeing eyes again. Okay, I want, great. I want to see letters. No, no, I'm seeing uh, an eye. <laughs> I, as in a human eye? Uh, yeah, I see the eyelashes too. And, and it's funny because I see inside the circle of the eye like a, like a, a face <laughs> inside the eye. But oh. anyway, I, I, I try not to, I try to go in letter mode. Let's see. Text mode. Oh, yeah, text. Can yeah, I, it's I, letter mode because only one letter. Mm. Uh, R. Okay. A. L. R again. J. L. By the way, I've seen the just uh, extra information. I've seen the letters black and out, I mean surrounding the letter like a gradient of, of a light, kind of like a background light, but only yeah. in, a, in a small area. The rest is black. Yeah, the um, I'm seeing L the letters as black on a lighter background. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Say it again. 
I'm seeing the letters as black on a lighter black room. So kind of like, like me, actually. Yeah, I know. It's very interesting. Um, I don't know. I keep seeing saying the L. L. Okay. Uh, T. I. W. N number one. Oh, sure. <laughs> it surprised me with a number. Man, anyway, if it's the right numbers down. now, two, nine, J, J again, U, four, number four, J again. And J again and L again. Oh my God, I'm getting a lot of J's and L's. Maybe, Maybe they're trying to send you something. I don't know. So now that we are with eyes closed, why don't you we reverse and you try to be the the one that says the letters? Well, so should I make up the letters or based on what I'm seeing in my visual field? Because I'm not seeing much in my visual field. So if you want, I'll just make them up. Well, maybe try a mix of some some of them you invent them and others you might see them without telling me. It doesn't matter. I keep saying the seeing the J letter. Oh my god, I don't know why. J, 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 and L. J and L. See now you know what it is, is you're you're a medium. You're trying to uh trying to pick up a you, you don't realize this, but there's a spirit trying to send you a message. And I saw on you, maybe maybe it's a message that should try to contact Julie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, because now I got a you and, and I thought of Julie from the July. UMO channel. Well, maybe it, it could also tell. be the, the month of July. Are you seeing words, by the way, or you're just seeing individual letters? Letters, but I, I happen to say, see J-U-L, like the abbreviation of July. And then I also saw Julie. By the way, I, I want you to. OK, say, sorry. All right, let's start with. Um, well, it keeps changing. OK, so I'm seeing an L. I will just say L. All right. S. A. S. Y. A again. T. E. L. S. N. seeing I and V same time kind of like the number four in Roman numeral mm -hmm. Y A Okay, I'm going to stop here. I want to tell you because I want to tell you something that um, last yesterday when I was doing the gray exercises too, I finally saw my first trees, <laughs> but they were like really small trees. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I and the thing is that I hope people trust us that we are honest here. I I was trying to send you letters. I didn't tell you. <laughs> oh, you were. To see so, if you were you were saying the letters that I was sending you, I, I wait, sent. How you, how how bad was I? No, but that doesn't mean you're bad. Maybe my sending was bad too. Who knows? <laughs> but no, you didn't say anything that I sent you. I sent you the Q and the O. 
I try the queue a lot of time, but and then I say, well, maybe I just send the O because the queue might be you a bit realize different. That's that some other person right now is sitting there going, what the heck are all these Q's and O's? <laughs> well, Q and A would be <laughs> maybe yeah. something more logical. Yeah, so I don't know. It's Yeah, no, I didn't see anything. I did notice that I was searching for letters within the structure of what I was seeing. It looked honestly a little bit more like, like blood vessels and and tree limbs and branches rather than letters, if that makes any sense. So I was just trying to do the best of finding letters within that. I think for me, it's uh, it, oh, well, let me tell you one feedback from from my experience on, on this uh -huh. right now. No, not previous experience. I'm talking about what happened right now. Um, I was better visualizing when I was the sender. Funny. When I was saying the T, the J, because actually I was the sender, but I was in receiving mode to see what I get, and then so kind. I mean, basically, I was being surprised with a letter, right? So that worked better visually than imagining the letter that you were saying. But I'm thinking about, especially for me, two exercises here. One is to have, a comp I mean, a, maybe in a web page, yeah, a, a random generator of, of letters mm -hmm. that I can also practice with eyes closed, so it doesn't matter the display of the letter, the same A, B, C. Uh, and also for me to say it loud, so I can also do it eyes closed and open, I mean, with a gray, one twenty one. So, so try that, yeah. let, let me let me finish. So that yeah. way, especially for me, because I want to get better with audio or pseudo audio, non physical audio, uh, to both hear the letter and relate uh, the letter and speak in the letter. Because also you, maybe for communication, uh, actually that's another thing, especially if, if we get more advanced at some point in the communication between you and me. Mm -hmm. Because one day, for example, I can try to send you letters without speaking them. And maybe maybe I can try, we can try in a certain way that I can speak loud without you hearing. Mm -hmm. So I might record the the audio separately without you listening to the audio in runtime yes and to see if something changes uh, on the sending of, of letters with sound or no sound but for okay. me especially like uh, like i said uh, i mean adding the audio both as listening and speaking can be a good thing so what i've been doing as you've been talking is I try to visualize as though I was transcribing what you're saying to me as like a text. So as oh, you're saying like words, captions. So yeah, yes, you know, I'm creating closed captions. Caption generator. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's a good exercise that you should try too is is have a speech generator generate text very slowly, one word at a time, and see if you can visualize the word in your mind's eye as it's happening. I think that's I, I find that it sometimes helps with focus. Sometimes it makes it worse, but nonetheless, I think it's a good visualization exercise. 